Let me start off this video by saying thank you for 100k subs. You guys are legends and I appreciate every single one of you for allowing me to have this as a job. It's really amazing because I remember times where my friends in high school were teasing me for my RS channel back when I only had like 200 subs or so in year 12. So once again, a big thank you. Now, let's move on to business. We're rank 5 in the Shadow Relics League and the top page is starting to get a little bit distance from each other and people are completing their task in a different order. Some tasks are quicker points faster and others are playing more long term efficiently and we're going to see this page change a lot over the next month. I just want to stay comfy where we are and keep working my way towards the top. I just got 25 mil fishing from doing Karambons with the auto bank and auto cook relic while editing and that was another 125 league points and it's also gotten me halfway to 25 mil cooking which I'm going to go one tick right now. I just unlocked the Just Druid fragment. What does that do? More herbs cleaning XP, nice. That's catch a herbie board 250 times, another 125 points, 17,990. Just gonna go finish off this 25 mil cooking with the rest of the Karamos that are in my bank. Didn't actually realize this, but there is a relic that auto cooks them for me, so this is gonna be super quick. And that is 25 million cooking XP. One tick that shit real quick here at the Mist Guild, because honestly, it's the easiest thing to ever do. I don't know why I just cooked another batch up, but yeah, we now have 18,115 points. Still haven't opened a crystal chest yet, so let's do that now. That's 25 points. And that is, this is going to be opening an enhanced crystal chest for another 50 league points, 18,190. Okay, it is time to Darok some Kraken. And what I mean by that is I have the Knife's Edge fragment, which means with four of these fragments, for every hit point missing, I deal 0 0.6 damage per hit point. I've also got the Chain Magic, so we should see some very, very big hits here. I've got a Slayer Helm and an Occult Necklace. Let's see what we can hit. Damn, I'm literally like two hitting these things. That's sick. I literally just said to die too, if I could get this trident in the next 17 kills, that would be great. And we did just get it. Can I, do I get a task just like that? Yeah, I do. Equip a trident of the seas. Let's go. Um, it's not charged up. I kind of CBA leaving. I'm one hitting these things anyway. I'll just finish this task real quick. Let's go. Oh, I just got a task for restoring 75 prayer points at an altar. I didn't do that yet. Okay, making some range potions real quick. That's make a four dose potion, 25 league points right there. Okay, we gotta unlock Zolra. 50 points, let's go. While Zolra obviously drops the blowpipe, a serp, and a magic fang, which does give me points later on, it also gives you points in the form of speed task for killing it in under a minute 30, under 54 seconds, and under 43 seconds. Now I'm gonna be using that same Darox relic and starting Zolra on one HP to try and get these tasks done by just doing the most amount of damage possible when it doesn't attack you back and just hoping that I can brute force my way to some points. What did I get from that? No way, bro! Oh my god, as if I die as I get it, bro. Fuck me. 1 minute 26, though. Uh. Okay, well, at least I got 100 league points out of that. 18,415. Okay, 1 minute 4. I think we might be able to get the 0 054, but no chance on the 0 43. I'm molding way too hard. Is that under 0 54? Please. 116, dude. Please. 0 59. Oh my god, bro. I need 0 54. If I just hit a little bit better there, I would have got it. Oh, I got a magic seed. That's good. That's actually really good. I'm tilting hard right now, but a magic seed does open up access to 250 points for me, so I'm happy with that. Any chance this is the 0 54? I'm not even keeping count anymore, bro. 0 58. I got a dragon halberd, but... Damn, I was one second off, bro. Okay, at least I know I can do it, because I am losing my mind right now. Come on, surely that's a 0 54. Surely. Let's go. Let's go. 0 51. Finally, man. I was mauled in hard. I really was. This is another one for 043, but I am not staying here any longer, bro. We'll come back later when we have better gear and are more capable. I'm mauled and hard, bro. Oh, I got 250 league points out of that. What did I do? Oh, one Grandmaster Combat Achievement. Okay, nice. I'm on 18.6k now. Are you one of the 40% of the people who watch and enjoy my leagues videos but aren't yet subscribed because you simply forgot? Don't worry. I'm here to remind you. Click that button down below so you don't miss a video. I'm training agility right now just to get to 82 to do the arty course with a boost and I just completed a medium task of 50 laps. I didn't even know I hadn't done that already. So another 25 league points. Okay, and that is 82 agility. And that is complete the Arjun, Arjun Ardone agility course. 125 league points, 18,815. Okay, floor four of the sepulcher done too. Didn't manage to get it in time, but it doesn't really matter. Um, we didn't have our tiles marked and stuff like that. 18,865. 
Okay, and that is defeat an ancient wyvern and any type of wyvern, I'm pretty sure, which is 75 league points. Yo. Uh, no Vissy on 1kc, though. That's pretty annoying. Okay, and that is defeat a skeletal wyvern, which I hadn't done either yet. So another 25 points. We're on 18, 9, 6, 5. Let's unlock King Black Dragon for 25 points. Okay, and that is King Black Dragon completed hide penetration as well. Uh, 50 league points just like that. Yo, and that is defeat 20 superior slayer creatures. I still haven't got the superior tracking relic. I'm not exactly sure where you get it. I assumed you'd get it from slayer and from killing superiors. It basically just spawns superiors at a higher rate or like almost 99 slayer and I still don't have it, which is pretty unfortunate. But that is another 50 league points putting me at 19,065. We're about 1. Uh, my mass is shit, 1.5 mil XB off uh, 99 Slayer. Just finished off 99 Slayer, which is another 125 points. is going to put me up to 19,190. Just been chilling here. Shout out my boy Dismek. I've just been eating a fat KFC meal. He just ordered me to, to uh, celebrate my 100k subscribers. You're the boy. 19,200 points. Shot for the Uber Eats, Dismek. Okay, I was eating my KFC and I had some logs left over in the bank and I did see I was very, very close to 2k total. So I think I might hit it now, to be honest. Uh, ran out of magic and U-logs, but I am so close to the level that I might as well just use whatever I can. And that right there is 81 Fletching, putting me at 2k total, giving me 125 league points. 19,350 now. We will be getting max soon as well. I've just now been informed that I don't have to keep using all these watering cans. I can just buy this can. It's an unlimited one. Damn, that's 25 league points right there. I'm an idiot. Okay, the XP here is incredibly insane. I just hit 94 farming. My CD business fragment is at 5.8 out of 8k. It just gives me a chance at saving my seeds when I plant them. I do have some trees planted right now. And honestly, it would be zero time to just do farming like that. But I am so disorganized when it comes to my farm runs. I genuinely think it would take me longer to do it through that than to do this. I will probably just do 25 mil farming passively because I'd have the whole time to do it. But right now, this is just what I'm doing. I'm at 94 right now. Look at the farming XP drops. I'm getting 550k. Oh, I just got another harvesting thing. 6.6 6 out of 8k. Just look at those XP drops. Four levels off another 125 points now. Okay, and this is going to be 99 farming right here. 125 league points right there. 19,465. And we're going to get some more right now. Let's trade Mr. Gricola. What's that? A type of granola? I have no idea. Buy a seed box. Okay, so we got 99 farming, which was 125 league points, and we unlocked the seed box. Didn't get the farmer's outfit yet. 19,490 points. So something I didn't realize yesterday when I killed Hydra is I got the Sardoman, Sardoman defense relic. And I actually had no idea this was going to be good at all until 92 was telling me how salty he was that I got it and that I actually got spoon fed. And he explained to me why. Having the Sardoman def Sardomanist, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, Sardomanist defense relic allows you to have the full fragment effects of both Absolute Unit and Knife's Edge. An Absolute Unit allows me to take reduced damage from monsters, and any damage that I do take is reflected to the attacker at a 50% reduction rate and a 100% reflection rate. And I also get the 0.6% damage per hit point. Most other people don't have all of these unlocked. I think you have to get really, really lucky to get the Sardoman Defe uh, Sardomanist defense relic or just kill a bunch of bosses and I got it on my first kill of the Hydra so this is going to be really good for me and I should be able to knock out some of these gauntlet tasks right now. Ooh. 458 bro, two seconds to go. What the hell? Liter Literally with two seconds to go bro. Literally with two seconds to go. What the fuck? I'm busted. My account sucks when I PK too. Like oh my god! I just hit like a hundred! That CG completion netted me 250 points. Now there is a sub five minute task, but it's probably gonna be a while before we get that done. Doing Crystal Armor C, no way, dude. No way. Let's go. Let's fucking go. 2KC Crystal Armor Seed, bro. Get in the fucking bag. Get in the fucking bag. That's hype, bro. I got four enhanced crystal teleport seeds. What is that? How? Oh, is that what I wanted? Bro. Okay, well, how do I do this? I wasn't really listening to you. Okay, bank one. It's Amarod. Okay, I've got three. I can give you crystal shards in return for crystal seeds. Okay, I can give me 450 crystal seed shards. We're on 19915. Let's make one crystal helm. Just the one. Reverting the helmet, yes, and don't ask again. We want a crystal helmet. That's 50 points right there. And let's make ourselves... Oh, 83 crafting, too. And let's make ourselves an eternal teleport crystal. 100 or 50 points right there too a bit spoon fed by the gauntlet and priff for a bunch of points we're over 20,000 now and there's only five people in the entire game with this amount of points
Everybody competing for top ranks will at some point have to give up hours of their time at the Corrupted Gauntlet to achieve full crystal and the Bofa, and is best in slot almost everywhere and unlocks loads of speed tasks, for example that 043 Zelra I was trying to do, that's worth around 250 points and there's a bunch of them all around the map. It's honestly more long term efficient to do it earlier rather than later, and that's why you may see some people lower ranked shoot up the ranks over the next couple of days, as they prioritize getting that Bofa and the crystal over some of the tasks that the current people have been doing, and then they'll start doing that as well. Keep your eye out on the runescape name Hygera, I'm putting it on the screen. This guy's a good player, I know of him, and I'm pretty sure this is exactly what he's doing, so I wouldn't be surprised if he takes rank 1 any day soon. So, it might be tomorrow's video, it might not be, but if you do see me drop off the top page when you see the check, when you check the high scores, just know, I know what I'm doing, and I promise I will be back up there. Thank you guys for watching today's video, I will see you guys tomorrow, leave a like if you guys enjoyed, subscribe if you are new, bye.